All right, let's go on to the page that says Electron Configuration Hotel Practice. Electron Configuration Hotel Practice. And I'm going to start at the beginning with Iron 56. I'm going to show you a few things that are on here and then we'll go through. Okay? So, first of all, Iron 56, that does not tell me diddly squat about how many electrons it has. It tells me the mass number. I gotta get the atomic number from the periodic table. So I go over to the periodic table and I find iron, right? And it's element number 26. So first of all, don't let that confuse you because this thing only has 26 electrons, right? 56 just tells me what version of it that I have. So 26 electrons means the following electron configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d, or 2, 4, 10, 12, uh, oh, 18, 20, and 6 more right here. 2, 4, 10, 12. 18, 20, and 26. So I do the orbital diagram. And there's so much cool stuff that's on here. So distance. Okay? We start at 1. 1 s. One orbital at the s, we needed two electrons. Second quantum energy level. This is the second level outside the nucleus. So your nucleus is here. We're in the second level outside of right now. Well, two. Then there's 2p. Three orbitals, p of x, p of y, p of z. I'm leaving them up here. Eventually, if you do it, you do it. I mean, it is what it is. Up, 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 down, 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 Hun's rule. Next thing, 3s. So we're at 3s, up and down. 1s orbital, two electrons will fit. 3p, 3 orbitals, p of x, p of y, p of z, and you needed 6 electrons, so up, 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 down, 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 which brings us to 4s2. 4s is here, right, because we're distance from the nucleus, so now we're the fourth level. 2 electrons fit, 1 and 2, which brings us back to 3. D. Now, what does that mean? It means this. We're back on the third quantum energy level. We're back tucked inside, back in here. So, 3D. There are five orbitals possible. You know what I usually think about, if I haven't said this before, is I take the number of electrons that are, and I cut it in half. So, since two electrons will fit in an S orbital, right, it's a one orbital. Since there are six of them, there are three orbitals because two electrons, three orbitals, six total, right? So with D, we can fit 10 of them, but we only need six. So here's what we do. One, two, three, four, five. And then this sixth electron, we can put it anywhere we want. So I'm gonna to choose to put it right there. So how many unpaired electrons do I have? One, two, three, four unpaired. In addition to that, there's one other thing that's happening here. It's called valence electrons. These are the ones that are found furthest from the nucleus. And the valence electrons, well, furthest from the nucleus, so this is distance from it, right, are found at the fourth level, x. So these are the valence ones right here. Why? Because they're the furthest from the nucleus. That's what this axis means. So how many are there? There are two valence electrons. Four unpaired, one, two, three, four, and two valence electrons. Whatever's at the top or the furthest distance, right, from the nucleus is the valence shell. That's iron. 